it's Saturday, which means that it's your favorite day of the week because you're with me. All right, so today we have a very, very, very special lineup for you. Uh, let's see what's going on today. So shortly after this, we're going to be doing morning worship, and then we're going to go straight into our new segment. We're going to be looking at the front page of the New York Times, and then we have Caribbean Roundup with Mr. Akilam Hamilton, and then we're going to look into some hot topics. And at 8.30, we're going to be having supporting our communities. We have Reverend Dr. Jermaine Gordon, who is going to be in the house this morning. I can't wait for him to be here to talk about his 360 project that he is doing at nine o'clock we have religion and relationships where we're going to look at a very special episode of focus on the family and at 9 30 we have a very special segment for kids so I want you to wake them up and make sure that they're listening to Auntie Marcia this morning because they're going to have a fabulous time at 9 55 we have a very new uh new special segment a uh, new segment this morning, and it's going to be a sponsor focus, which is going to be brought to us by DJ KTE. And if you are an avid listener of DJ KTE, you'll know that he's from the segment Let's Talk Relationships on Monday. So he's going to be visiting us today. And 10 o'clock, we have Kingdom Champions. We're going to be having two very special guests this morning. We're going to be having Dale Brown, and we're going to be having Lamar Campbell. I feel so honored to have these two powerhouse in uh, on our station this morning. And of course, behind the music and everything else is DJ Kelly. Good morning, girl. Thank you so much for helping to make Weekends with Marsha J possible, possible, possible. All right. So at this time, we're going to go straight into our morning devotional. And of course, you know, we have to sip a cup of tea before we start because we're inside a very special series this morning. Here we go. Mm. So we're going to be looking at moments of grace, moments of grace. Moments of grace are those times when God's kindness and mercy to us in Jesus it just takes our breath away. We pause, perhaps over a cup of tea, and we ponder over our Savior's love. So this devotion that follows, it will focus not just on the T-E-A, tea we drink, but on other words that end with T or T-Y, and on the insights gleaned by considering those words in the light of scripture. I do hope that you'll enjoy this little pun as we jump right into our devotion this morning. And this is week four, and we're going to be looking at the word berivity. Berivity. It's the quality of being brief and the shortness of time. I sat curled up in my favorite chair, sipping a cup of tea. The early morning light streamed through the family room windows as I enjoyed a few moments of me time. I slowly turned through the pages of our family photo album, pondering my daughter's childhood. How fondly I remember her delightful squeals, silly stories, and sweet giggles. How good it felt to hold her close dry her tears, take in the clean smells after bath time, and listen to her steady, even breathing after she has drifted off to sleep. Where did that precious time go? I thought the hectic pace of running her around for school and church activities, piano lessons, dance classes, and cheerleading events, soccer, it would never end. What happened? The bereavity of that sweet season in our lives together, it flew by. How soon it was gone. As I reminisced, I thought, had I taken even a single day for granted? Had I at times allowed life to get so busy, hurried or stressed that I missed out on what was really important? The Apostle James notes, Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time, and then it vanishes away. And that's taken from James 4 and verse 14. How true! God gives each of us the same 24 hours each day. 
He lets us spend them in whatever way we choose. Will we waste our hours? Or will we find them with balance and appreciation, seizing and making the most of each and every moment? As I grow older, I find that the minutes, hours, days, and weeks still pass by too swiftly. I want to shout, wait! I want to savor each precious day and cherish each moment, for they will soon evaporate. Lost in the vastness of infinity, never to be recaptured. Today, I thank Jesus for enduring the agony of the cross, for dying in my place to earn the forgiveness I need. I know my days on earth are brief. May God help me to make the most of them, even as I look forward to spending eternity in heaven with my Savior. And our text for today is, Behold, thou hast made my days as an hand breath, and my age has nothing is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Psalm 39 and verse 5. Behold, thou hast made my days as an hand breath, and my age is as nothing before thee. Verily, Every man at his best state is altogether vanity. And that was your devotion for this morning. I pray that we can think about the shortness of life and what we will do. The word of God says, teach us to number our days so that we may apply wisdom. It means that no moment should be wasted. Thank you so much for listening to our devotional this morning. Can I pray a quick short prayer with you? Father, we thank you for this morning. It's a day that we've never seen before and one we will never see again. And God, even as we celebrate the dawn of a brand new day, I thank you that you have allowed us to be in the land of the living six feet on top of our, of our graves, singing and giving you praise this morning. We welcome whatever it is that you will do this morning. We embrace your move. We embrace the things that you will have us do today. Lord God, we thank you for this program. We thank you for this station. We thank you for each and every person that's connected to it. Father God, we place it into your hands even now in the name of Jesus. And God, we know that every single listener is subject to your power this morning. We thank you that you are breaking chains and you are lifting burdens, God. We pray, oh God, and we thank you that you are amplifying the voice of positive influences, oh God, and you're empowering somebody in their corner of the earth. Lord God, as we get into our program this morning, we thank you for your presence that is already here. And we give you thanks. And if there's anything that we've forgotten to pray about, we pray that you will fail not to grant it unto us according to your will in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Yes. And so we know that you're having your cup of tea this morning and you are going to be staying us for the long haul for the next three hours. It's your girl, DJ Marsha J, and you are inside Weekends with Marsha J. Stay tuned. <laughs> 